So where have I been all this time? I'm going to be honest with you. I've been sitting right here in my chair, stuck on this ultimateguitar.com. Um, it's a site where you can get practically any chords you want to any song you've ever heard all in one place, which is cool. I use it all the time, like when I can't figure out the chords to something, I'll look on guitar, um, ultimateguitar.com. So then I was like, you know what? I should upload my chords to my songs because now that they're out on Spotify and stuff, oh my goodness, it was a rabbit hole. So I started upload uploading my songs like this. I'll show you. So this is my page with all of my songs that I've submitted. One of them isn't. One of them is by Bayside Worship, but the rest are by me. And then you'll see over here if they've been accepted or approved. And then I have four that are waiting to be approved. And people will get back to you in the comments before it's approved and tell you what's wrong with it and you have to fix it or they can fix it or they can tell you to fix it. It's kind of a little bit of a back and forth just to make sure everything's good and works right, which is good to have um, oversight and editing, you know, someone look over it. So there's that. And then I, 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 I learned you can do these things called shots. No, not shots, but shots. It's like a little video, almost like a TikTok or an Instagram reel, where you can do a little one minute clip of you playing a song on Ultimate Guitar. So what have I been doing? Trying to record little one minute clips of all my songs. This is my current, uh, current account. I just started it and I've got like, how many shots I have up here? I don't know, I have a bunch of shots. You can see all the ones I've done, some with Brittany. <laughs> And um, then people can follow you or, and they can reply and stuff. And then what's cool about the shots is if they like your song, they can actually go learn it because it's connected to the chords that you put up. It's the whole thing and I've been suckered into it. It's where I've been. Plus I had to work on some other stuff for my acting class I'm taking. We had to write a little script and just stuff like that, but I've mostly been at my desk. Nothing fun. But Lindsay is coming over in about an hour, and we're going to play some 90s board game. I got to win this. I mean, guys, I got to win the 90s board game. But we'll see. Lindsay has a way of uh, laughing her way through and just beating me at stuff, so we'll see. Lemonade, a smile. Can you smile? You smile a little bit? With your teeth, <laughs> you smile, or at least look happy. I love you. I just had to lay down for a minute because, well, I I had peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch and in the kitchen. Like sometimes they make them fresh, and then other times they give them to you out the refrigerator. But I think the ones they gave me were like two days old or something. I'm not stating that as fact. I'm just saying. I don't feel very good after eating though. <laughs> it were really hard <laughs> and the jelly tasted funny. So what you gonna do? I was hungry. Lindsay's here and Lemonade's looking at the squirrels who are trying to clean up behind the raccoons who've been getting in my trash. I have a gang of raccoons. There's four or five of them. And yeah, so that's my status. Lemonade, you see those squirrels? I have laundry to put away, but we're gonna play the game, right? We'll do both. How about law? How about game? How about half and half? How about all game? How about work then play? Oh, uh, how about game then work? How about work then play? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. Hey. Uh, nineties. I'm gonna win. Game. Naturally, I'm gonna win. I know everything about the nineties. You can't fool me. I thought you know everything about the 80s. That's true. We'll see. We should be even. They did have an 80s one too, but, well, they didn't have it in stock. Yes, let's play. Plus, I like the 90s better. Yeah, let's play. So, before we got to play the game, Lindsay noticed the hole being dug under my front porch. Yes, I have a critter that is slowly making a home underneath my house. Um, I think it's probably an armadillo, but you can never be sure. It's Florida. I was just thinking about charging them rent. And every morning there's fresh dirt outside the hole. 
I kind of just want to see what happens from here. Of course, I could always fill the hole in or put something over it, but to be honest, there's not much going on around here, and this provides a bit of excitement. So we started daring each other to stick our hands in there and see what was going on and how deep it was, but no one really wanted to do that. So I had a better idea. How about we get something and stick it in there and see how deep the hole is. We were going to use the hose and spray water, but then we were worried if something had laid babies in there, we didn't want to kill anything. So, yeah, the hole is a big mystery in my house right now. <laughs> Lindy was so curious. She was Googling, what digs holes in Florida? And, of course, it came up with, like, five or six different animals that could possibly be living underneath my house. No telling. So what do we do next? What any curious person would do, we got the broom out to investigate. And lemonade was all for it. Okay, so we thought about spraying water into the hole, but just in case there's babies or something in there, we don't want to hurt them. So we're going to use this broomstick and see what's going on inside that hole. You ready? You rolling? Yes. Oh, it ends. It ends. Right there. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. But if something's working on it because it wasn't that deep before. Yeah, it's getting it's getting deeper. Yeah, something's working yeah, on it. Yeah, they're, they're working on it. That's a pretty big... That's a big hole. Okay, mystery solved for now. Well, not really. We don't know what made it, but... I got something that needs to start paying rent around here if it's going to live downstairs for me. Mm hmm. True. <laughs> Lemonade, you ready to play 90s? Are you going to mm -hmm. help Lindsay? Did you live through the 90s? Hey, are you on my team? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right. Say so game on, Jan. Game on. <laughs> She's my helper. She is my helper. Mm -hmm. Category sports, music, TV, cultural. Is it like okay. trivia pursuit? And movies. This yeah. is awesome! Few questions. TV, movies, music, cultural affairs, and sports. I want Brittany to be on my team. No. Okay, so that game was harder than we thought it was going to be. It was like a lot of questions about tennis players, NASCAR, and old TV shows. Like ones that, ones that were like even like even though I was in the '90s, I was like kind of a kid, so I didn't really pay attention to some of these TV shows, which were more for adults. And some questions. Oh, it was kind of hard. But of course, who wins? Because she stole my card that I needed to win. And then she took it to the end and won. Typical Britney style. I'm telling you. I am so happy. She's so happy. I'm happy for her. I am going on a fishing trip um, in the first week of February. And it's going to be... Hold on, it's really loud. Okay, so the excitement is, Lindsay is gonna take me a fishing charter the first week of February. We are going with a, a, he's actually a YouTuber. His YouTube name is Salty Sportsman, if you wanna check him out. And he, I've been following him for like three years. And then here's the kicker. We're following him and then realize he goes to my church. Cause my church has more than one campus. So he goes to a, a different campus. But it's just so weird. So, it's so cool. She's so excited. I am so excited. <laughs> it just better be a, a nice day. Just, yes. just not rain. Please don't rain. Okay. It needs to be a day like today. Oh, a day like today. today. Look at this day. No. Winds is blowing just right. Just right. Keeping my hair cool. Look at Christian trying to get in my vlog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's our lunch time, not your lunch time. Whenever we get our lunch choice, Lemonade gets ready to eat. It's our lunch time. Okay, guys, tell me what you think. I redid this area. I got rid of the hutch that was there, that big, tall, gray thing. I put my desk here. This is all chemicals junk. And I put a things to do board, which I love. 
And then over here is like my mugs and all my cups and stuff. And then the top is lemonade stuff. And then over here, well, I did some dishes for a change. <laughs> and then over here is like all my snacks and little food items. Oh, and I got these special little plates and bowls. Because me and Brittany argue over popcorn bowls. So mine is the Winnie the Pooh. And hers is the Star Wars. And we each have a plate. We each have a little spoon and fork. Yes, I know they're baby spoon and fork, but I just couldn't resist. And a little cup. And today I wrote a new song, and I'm about to record a little video for it to put it on my music channel. And, um, yeah, so it's a generally good day. I need to clean this side of the cabin because it's a little messy. And my laundry, of course. But, um, it's looking, looking good. Hello guys. Well, where have I been this whole time? I wish I had been vlogging, but I've been sick. I started feeling sick on Friday or Saturday, and by Sunday I was done. All I could do was just lay down. I got back from church and just lay down like, ugh. I was coughing and all that. Terrible. They tested me for COVID twice, both negative. Thank goodness. Thank you, Lord. But I'm still feeling really sick from whatever it is. And uh, I've literally been in bed for three days. It's making me crazy. But every time I try to get up, I feel like I'm going to fall over. So all I can do is lay down. Good thing I had this wedge I had gotten. It lets me sit up so I can, like, look on my computer or phone and play games and stuff like that. And um, I had my heat blanket to keep me warm because it's been chilly the past few days. Uh, that's been my life. I've just been laying in bed drinking cranberry juice and drinking water. And, uh, and then on top of that, on top of that, they took Brittany away from being my staff. I don't know why. I guess... I guess we were having too much fun. I don't know what's going on, and I really hope she comes back soon because I really miss her, and she was a lot of fun. And um, she did activities with me and stuff, you know. Sometimes I just don't understand why they got to do this stuff. And no one will tell me the reason why, so I just have left to ponder and wonder and worry, which is, if you're anything like me, you understand what that's like. And that's what always happens. When something like that happens, so they won't tell you. They'll just make you ponder and wonder and worry for days and days and days. So it's probably not helping me feel any better either because it's stressing me inside. I'm trying not to let it, but it is. So hopefully I'll put this vlog together tomorrow if I can sit up at my desk and get it out to you guys. I don't even know what I've what I videoed this week. Look at this patch of gray hair. Look at this. I swear this is brand new from this week. Look at that. That's it. I'm a gray haired lady. <laughs> no, but um I'm really upset about Brittany. Yep. I'm really sad. It just feels lonely without her here and here. Because she would do stuff with me, you know. And now it's just like me. I mean, the staff is here and they're nice, but it's not the same. I'm shy like a sad cat Hiding in the corner But you seem like the tide to help me get over it Cause your face tells the story Of a love that's been broken And I give you my condolences unspoken Woo. I would hold you in my arms If you'd pause for a moment But you're straight on your path Like an L that is broken So I'll meet you at the crossroads Every day at ten Go on with our lives, cause love ain't fair.